Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a digital voltmeter on your golf cart so you can monitor how many volts your batteries have so you know when you need to charge it or if you're going to run out. So yeah, it should be a pretty simple process and we are going to get started. So we're looking here at the dash and I'm going to decide where I want to put the little uh, uh, display. And so I guess I'll put it right here. Maybe I'll put it there. I'm not really sure which one. But what I'll do is put the switch up there and then I'll trace around it with a Sharpie or a pencil or something to get my shape. And then I'm going to use my Dremel tool down here and uh, cut a hole. But then also we need to figure out how to hook this up to the batteries. And so I have a 48 volt system. I swapped all my batteries. I had six 8 volt batteries. I went to four 12 volt. And so what you're going to want to do is go to the first positive in your series, which for me is right here. And then you want to go to the last negative, which is over here. So we're going to hook up the negative over there, the positive here. And so it's going to go 12, 24, 36, 48. And that's how it's going to measure how many volts you have. So we're going to drill the hole here, run the wiring underneath the cart. Uh, I'll find somewhere to maybe zip tie it a couple times to the frame. And then, uh, yeah, we'll attach it to the battery terminals and we should be good to go. Right, you probably can't see it, but I have my outline done and now I've got my Dremel with a little cutting bit on it and I'm going to cut out the shape for the little uh, display. Well, I've got the hole cut. I kind of went off center a little bit. That's okay. It'll be just fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is run the wiring on the switch uh, through there. I took one of the cup holders out so I have a little bit easier access. Then I will pull the wire down underneath the cart, go around, hook up to the batteries. Here. Like a glove. Slightly off, no, it's pretty good. I, I'm pretty pleased with that. So what I'm gonna do now is run this wiring uh, underneath the cart, then I'll pop around and get into the battery compartment. We'll get it hooked up and we should be good to go. I have the wire run and so what I'm gonna do now is remove the seat. It's pretty simple. Just lifts up and comes off these hinges. Now I have better access to the uh, battery compartment because if I leave the seat up it falls right back down with the steering wheel there So let's take this off real quick it is removed and here is my wire that I ran underneath the cart I have lots of excess. I just wanted to make sure I had enough And so I'm going to hook up To the positive right here and then I will branch off And hook up to the negative Should be pretty simple so let's do that real quick and we should be ready to rock and roll. Another thing you want to remember is uh, which wire you had hooked up to uh, which side of the voltmeter there. So my positive, my red, I had hooked up to the one with the stripe on it. So I'm going to make sure that is what gets hooked up to the positive. Well, I got it hooked up. Somehow I'm reading more than 48 volts. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, maybe the batteries got overcharged. I have no idea. I'm not an electrician. Don't understand all that. I'll look into it and see if that's a bad thing or not. But hey, at least I have power over there and I am all hooked up. Yeah. So pretty simple process. Uh, I suggest doing it so you know how much power your cart has so you don't get stuck somewhere and it dies on you. But yeah, I'm going to go ride around and see if I can watch it uh, monitor while I'm driving.